very many years ago uganda used to have a very large population of the northern white rhinos which later went extinct around the 1980s now between 2001 and 2006 eight more white rhinos were introduced in uganda two were taken to the entebbe zoo if you've been on this channel long enough you know that we looked at those two and then six more were brought right here at the ziwa rhino sanctuary which is the place that we are going to take a look at today in today's video welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Eunistes. Hotel in Uganda since 1923. It's now 100 years plus. Once again, I welcome you to Zewa Rhino Sanctuary. Thank you. So this is the only place in Uganda where you can see white rhinos in the wilderness, wild on foot. My name is Max. I'm going to be your guide taking to the field for rhino tracking experience. And before we set to the field for rhino tracking, allow me to tell you how and why we came to be here at Zewa Rhino Sanctuary. So you guys, if you've been here long enough, you know that we saw the other two at Entebbe Zoo when we did the behind the scenes program at the zoo. So it is a complete honor for me to see where the rest were brought and that is right here at the Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary. And the other interesting thing is that my current read that I'm going to show you in a few, are they getting closer or it's my camera? <laughs> this has been my current read. I've been trying to understand more about rhinos. And I'm here getting to see them firsthand and learning this story from this book. The history of this whole place has helped me to understand, you know, and get much more information about this. And so it's been a complete honor.
So we still have a program here at Ziwa Rhino Sanctuary of receiving more eight rhinos from South Africa, maybe before the end of this month. Uh, that help, enables us to mix the gene pool of these rhinos and maybe by next year or next year but one, we shall be translocating some of the rhinos to the parks, more especially uh, a Jai Game Reserve in Makishon for National Park where they used to exist before. Mm -hmm. And also there is a program that we are likely also to receive some uh, giraffes here, more especially the, the Rochelle's giraffes, one of the species of giraffes from still either Makishon or any other part of the parks that can also help, help us in eating some trees here, free species here. And also before that, and there are also other species uh, mm. like the the zebras that they are talking of, they are also going to be brought here at Ziwara in the sanctuary. Okay. So in the next few years... We'll come we'll, back in a few. Yeah. So, okay. so you're saying that when they bring these eight up from South Africa, will they have to keep them separate from this group or they just unload them and... Now what happens is that uh, we shall first of all put them in the cages for some times, then we release them. Yeah, give them a chance to know each other a bit. Exactly. Yeah. Won't that beat the whole name of it being a rhino sanctuary if you bring in other animals? No, it won't. It will still be a rhino uh, sanctuary. It will still be a rhino sanctuary. Yeah, which has been just with other here. animals. Yeah, with other animals. Maybe with okay. time to come. You never know. With time to come, though I've not yet heard about that. It may be uh, into a small extent of getting into a game reserve.